Hi, and good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. B hyphen man golf YouTube location. Today I'm going to follow up on what I've been trying to tell you about golf being played from the ground up. I'm going to get into it very quickly because I have a few videos that I want you to see. First thing about golf from the ground up as I interpretate it uh, from the way that I was taught by some PGA professionals uh, the things that you learn when you are a PGA instructor. So here's what I want you to know in this episode. I'm going to use the golf shoe here. Okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it up here and as I hold it up here I'm going to add my fake grass. You see that? Okay. <laughs> hey, that's the best I could do. Anyhow, what I wanted to show you is on this fake grass golfers tend to put too much pressure on their toes and meaning their weight is tilted forward if you can see that I don't want to do it drastically because I, nobody stands like that but right here and you sort of put your weight on your front toes and you put your weight on the front toes sitting on that standing on that grass like that what happens is you tend to swing too too uh, sharp too deep you're coming down and your driver believe it or not is making divots have you seen that you got a ball on a tee, but yet your driver still made a divot. Your weight's too far on your toes. Okay, so we got to switch that. For golfers that are their weight is too much on their heels back here, right? If you have too much weight on your heels, you tend to whiff or hit worm burners a lot. So you got to get your weight off your heels. You're spinning out. You can't make solid contact like that. The proper position for your feet is to be solid on the ground. Somewhere in between your heel and in between your toe. Not too much heel, not too much toe, but right in the middle. You follow me? Okay, great. I want you to mash that ground like you're mashing mashed potatoes. You have to get a good solid foundation. Just sort of wiggle your, your feet, your toes, your heel, just sort of get a real solid base. Then I want you to use that as a launching pad. You have to generally switch your weight. Once you put the weight on the back leg, especially if you're right handed golfer and you put the weight and you got your right hip out of the way, you need to be able to really push off of that back heel. Same for the left handed golfer. You put that weight on the left, you need to be able to push off that left heel. You need to make that pirouette on your rear foot. That's what's most critical and necessary for being playing the golf from the ground up. It's the only way that you're going to hit solid shots. It's the only way that you're going to get better. So practice that. I'm going to take you out and show you how I practice on the scoring clubs, just so you understand. The scoring clubs are not your driver. Everybody can hit a driver especially if you've been playing for years and years and years, you've probably at least mastered that because when I go to the range, that's all I see you guys hitting is your drivers. You never pull anything else out of bag. But the big stick, listen, the big stick does nothing but gets you in trouble. Yeah, yeah, it gets you in trouble, especially when you know you're playing from the wrong tees and you're reaching for stuff you just don't have. So, I'm going to take you outside, yep, this episode we're going outside, and I'm going to show you what that is, okay, and how I practice. Um, I use targets, you should too. So I'm using the scoring clubs. I'm chipping 30 yards, 40 yards, 20 yards, and then we're going to move over to putting, which is the one I really want you to see. So. Let's head outside and see what I've got, and hopefully it'll help you. Sound good? Concentrating right now on aim. The next set, I'm going to concentrate on trajectory and connectivity. I just always want to make sure that everything that I'm doing is coming together solidly so that I can count on it when I'm playing. Remember, this is your scoring club. This is just a little chip shot that you want. Not too much, not too strong, just tempo. 
timing, aim, feel, touch. Think about these things when you're at the range. Make it a purposeable visit. Don't just go out there and pound balls, people. Don't do that. That doesn't help your game at all. Good. Now, here's the other scoring club. And I purposely tilted this particular one sideways so that you can see I'm putting between two sticks. If you notice, I am not putting from three feet or four feet. It's ten feet. Don't cheat yourself and putt from two and three feet all the time. Back it up to 10 feet. All right, so how was that? Did I do good? Okay, I believe you. But that's the way to practice. And the putting, if you notice, I had two rails down and I was putting the ball between the rails. Don't cheat yourself. Don't, don't just putt from two feet and three feet. Do like I did, get back there 10 feet. 10 feet. It's the only way you're going to train your eye to be accurate. So I have my rails, I'm 10 feet, and I'm putting the ball to the hole. Okay? So that's what you need to do. So those were your scoring clubs, and I hope this helps you. Like B-Man always says, put them like you own them, and rock the baby.